Today we will be making art using an Etch-A-Sketch. What's that? You will have two hours to make your art and best piece gets a split up to five grand with a random subscriber. Yay! However, we're gonna start off with a twist right away. I have topics for you. An Etch-A-Sketch is a toy that was extremely popular in the 60s that you can make art on using two knobs. Ben, choose a random one. Lizard. I want Mona Lisa. Random player's choice. David. I think you should get to be the Mona Lisa. I was joking. Oh, I'm gonna get Karma now. I'm gonna get Dragon. Dragon! <laughs> my toy. Oh. You have to do my original character. Aside from giving them random topics, I will also give the artists only one chance to restart by shaking their etch a sketch. This should get interesting. The time has started. I got the topic of Blizzard, which honestly is not that bad because it's pretty close to Dragon. Zach, you make something on the etch a sketch. I just decided that I'm gonna do this version. I'm gonna do Haku from the Spirited Away. There's my little picture. I'm going to attempt to do a horse. I think I'm gonna do Zach's old lizard Dax, and I think I'm gonna use this as reference. That actually is really That's cool. not bad. I like it. Call this the Lona Misa. I think that the artists quickly realized this was gonna be a lot harder than they thought. This is not easy! Zach, I'm getting confused from my left and right. No, I'm too nervous to start this. I think I messed up. I wanna like shake it already. One of the artists even had a restart. I'm restarting. There's your one restart. Ew, you can literally see like us looking down at it the whole time. It's horrible. <laughs> oh no! My face is like this. I think I'm done. Oh. I present that to you. Alona Mesa. Bean, knock it off. Did you restart? This is all I've done. <laughs> I'm trying to do a horse, I see. <laughs> Zach, I'm trying to add cross hatching. Man, shut up. Oh my god. Now that everyone's made some progress on their pieces, I decided to let one of my friends make a bet on who he thinks will win. So this is Jesse. He's my friend and also one of our employees. Take a look around. I will let you place a bet on any one of them. If they end up winning the whole thing, I'll give you 500 bucks. Well, every time someone bets on me, I lose. That's a good point. Michelle? Yes. Oh, okay. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. Can you tell? I'm gonna move on to David. <laughs> That's very really interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty rough. It's gonna look better. You have your restart still, right? Yeah. Good, okay. Well, Savannah. That's a tough tongue. one. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Ben, I think. What? Ben? Why? I don't think this challenge is gonna be good. The artist seemed to be having a difficult time using the edge of sketch, so I had a brilliant idea for the first mini challenge. All right, everyone, this is a mini edge of sketch. I will give you guys three minutes to make any art piece you want. Go! Why can I like do this one better than the other one? Oh god, I need to restart. <laughs> I was going to do a flower until Zach asked if I was doing a platypus and I changed my mind. It's a platypus. The process of doing this is melting my brain. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, oh time's up. Oh my god, up. I just dropped it. <laughs> oh no. Ben, let's see it. What the heck, wait, look, Ben? <laughs> and then this is like a mountain range and I even crossed. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, I can kind of see it barely. Okay, look at my mushroom forest. I can kind of see what's going on. Right. It's still a little rough. City skyline, and that's a car, and those are trees. Okay, that's actually not bad. There, there's nothing cherries. on there. You have to look at an angle. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to give this one to Mackenzie. Let's go. So you gotta choose two people, and they can only use one hand for the next 15 minutes. It seemed like Mackenzie knew exactly who to target first. I know you're gonna choose me, just know that I will yeah, get you Bean. back later. Mackenzie just attacked Ben. I think Ben looked ahead enough whenever I was judging. He's still gonna come back, I think. Left, up, down. Left, up, down, I hit my life. One through 10, whoever's closer is, is safe. Okay, nine. Zero. You're closer. It was two. I'm really lucky now. That was stupid. Oh my gosh, How don't put the camera on this. This is awful. David, how's the one hand? Horrible. It looks the exact same since I was last over here. You can't do anything with one hand. Okay, you're doing little beard yeah. hairs. It's cross hashing, but okay. How are you shading it? You go left and then up, down, back up, left, up, down. With time running out, I decided it was time for another mini challenge. Everyone, we have a mini challenge. So you guys may be familiar with this game. It's called ZHC Crafts Trivia. The winner gets to decide which players need to roll the exercise die. So Ben, choose a category. You can choose ZHC Crafts Trivia, Miss Munchie Trivia, or Main Channel Trivia. Main Channel Trivia. First person to guess the title of that video wins, and you only get one guess. 
solution to the problem, we immediately- 17. One point for Ben. All right, Michelle, you get to choose the category. Miss Smudgy. <laughs> I'm Miss Smudgy. I should know everything about my channel. What day was the channel started? August 2020. August 8th, 2020. Oh, Ben, you're the closest. Ben, you get another point. Oh! David, choose a topic. Half channel. As of right now, how many videos do we have posted on the channel? 130. David, you got a spot on. It's oh, 130. Shut up, really? Yes! All right, Congrats. Mackenzie, choose. Okay. As of this recording, what does our channel banner say? Please subscribe. Hi, please subscribe. Is that a subscribe if you're cool? Yeah, David got it again. Oh, my God! Crafts, all right. First person to guess what this video is, you only get one guess. Isaiah, before you start, you Coffee. Yeah, Ben, you got it. All right, well, Ben, you get to choose three people. Ken, Savannah, David. Oh, okay. Yay! If I get burpees, else. I'm done. Push-ups. I've been working out, I can do push-ups. Squats. It could be burpees, which would be a lot worse. Crunches. That's not bad. I chose everyone but Michelle because me and Michelle are homies. I got no point. But I didn't have to do a workout, so that, that works out. There's about 45 minutes left in the challenge, and it seemed like the artists have gotten quite comfortable using the etch -a sketch I think I'm getting used to the way the direction of the knobs twist. My quads can't take this anymore. <laughs> Those suck. Were fast, so that was the best thing I could have gotten. Now we have to draw. Okay, where was I at? Where's my thing? Little do they know, the winner of this next challenge is going to receive the biggest advantage yet. All right, everyone, for this next challenge, I need you to get into teams of two. Are we on the same team again? Ben, let's do it. Jesse, come here. Oh, no. All right, Michelle, Jesse's your partner because obviously we only have five people. Oh, we'll get ready to lose. I'll make sure of it. All right, so you guys will be competing in an egg toss competition. The winning team gets to choose one player and shake their art. <gasps> oh my God. I need a poop, Jesse. When the artists tossed the eggs, they all got eliminated at the same time, so we decided to use water balloons instead. Toss. <laughs> Michelle, you're out already. These challenges suck. We should never do a tossing challenge ever again. Toss. Wait, but it didn't pop. Oh, oh. Whoa! No, miss it. No. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so mad. All right, everyone, come in. <laughs> After Mackenzie and David won the challenge, some of the artists started panicking. If you don't pick me, I'll give you 50% if I win. I will I offer 70%. 70%? No way! So here's how you shake a piece, once like that. Should I do it? Yeah. I have a lot of aggression. Do it. OK, ready? Yeah, I'm really aggressive. Wait, wait. No, not all the way up here. You get a shake one yeah. Wait, it's probably messed up. Oh my gosh, it is. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you already, you already did it. I didn't do anything. With only 30 minutes left, Ben is going to have to work really fast to recover. He's cranking away. Everyone looks like they're done already, and I'm sitting here scrambling to color in my guy's ponytail. Shirley is looking really good. Everyone's been pooping on my pony, and I don't really know why, because I feel like it's good. I still don't understand which one goes up and which one goes down. My money's on Lona Misa. Lona? Looking great. I think Lona's gonna win. I'm just stressed out. I haven't seen anybody's PC yet, because I haven't looked up for mine, so I have no idea. Two, Wait. one, all right, time's yeah. up. No. All right, everyone, stop what you're doing. That was really hard. Savannah, would you like to tell me about your piece? I think I took up the screen, like, really well. I think the balance is okay, and he looks complete, although I would have added more shading to the mouth area, I think. I think you got it pretty spot on. So this is my pony slash donkey. It's got some luscious hair mm. and a little, like, brain kind of mm. thing. This I, was very hard. I think you made the streak on the side of the face work. It looks pretty good. So this is the dragon from Spirited Away. And I added a moon. Okay. And a mustache. I don't know if that's what that is. I don't see a lot of diagonal lines. A lot of it looks like it's going straight up or yeah. straight to the side. So this is the Lona Misa. It is my version of the Mona Lisa. You made the piece work. It's, yeah. It was better than I thought. I really hope I win so then I can finally have a streak. So I did Dax the Chameleon. <laughs> Dude, okay, you keep making the jaws Zach, so I short. also did this in the last 30 minutes. That's true, that's true. I'll give you that. So I have two guest judges that I'm going to call. They are each going to select one to go straight to the finals. What's up, Gio? So this is the first piece. Okay. The second piece. So that kind of looks like Mona Lisa. <gasps> I'm stuck between the first one and the last one, man. In regards to just like how much it covered, I can tell that it was a lot more effort, so I think I'm gonna have to go with the last one. <gasps> and I have one more person to call. What is up? I think the horse. Yeah! 
Well, you just sent Mackenzie to the finals. They didn't show me mercy, which means I'm gonna show them no mercy next time. Bean, calm down over there. You've won like six in the last like 10 videos. I have the final results. Mackenzie, Savannah, keep in mind, the winner gets to win up to five grand that they will split with a random subscriber. The final result with a total of 69% of the votes. Mackenzie! No! I grabbed six artists and a ton of pencils. You guys will have three hours to make art with nothing but pencils, and whoever has the best piece gets to win up to five grand. Yeah. We're gonna start off with a twist right off the bat. Vinny, phone. I'm going to make this extra difficult on you guys today. No references. And since drawing is very dear to me, I chose a ton of topics that I would really enjoy drawing. So, David, why don't you pick one? Cartoon. <laughs> Your choice. What? Demogorgon. <laughs> oh, sea creature. I hope you guys are all happy with your themes. You have three hours, go. I have been looking forward to this challenge all week. My favorite form of art is drawing. It's really exciting to see all of them try my medium. I'm gonna be just fine. These two? <laughs> my biggest competition, Ben. <laughs> Ben's gonna make it to the finals today. We're all gonna lose. I'm a little bit panicking, but that's okay because we are used to this. I can do no wrong. I think I'm just gonna ask Ben for a lot of help. I think I'm gonna do like a demon character with like a cool samurai mask. I will, however, allow them to use 10 minutes of my help. And I am gonna feel like I'm missing out if everyone's drawing except for me. I want so. you. I need you too. I need you. Yeah. I need you right now. I need you now. Oh. You right. 10 minutes only and then afterwards I need to give you guys a challenge. What I really need is anatomy, but mainly I just need help with the shading. I love Stranger Things, but how am I supposed to draw a Demogorgon without a reference? Okay, so this is a little rough right now. I think Ben will know how to turn this into a good piece. Let's check in on David. Oh, that looks pretty cute. I'm gonna do all the cartoon characters, but I'm gonna make them have really big attitudes. I like it so far. <laughs> Trying to draw like some shapes and get like Sushi? Kind of, no, shapes. I would suggest you start out a couple rough sketches so you kind to know what you want it to look like. I think I'm gonna do a split picture. I really don't think you're gonna be able to do two. Okay, fine, I'll focus on one. I think Ben and Jake have the obvious advantage in this challenge because they are very good without reference. So we'll see what happens. Ben gave me the idea of having turkey come out of a grain. This is still very hard to do. This is the first video that me and Ben sat next to each other ever. Hey, hey, near out. <laughs> Before we do the first challenge, if anyone wants some help, I have time for one more person. I have an idea. We each put a sharpener in and then you close your eyes and pick one. Oh, okay, that works. Guys, don't make a single noise. This! Yes! <laughs> All right, Jake. You have 10 minutes of my help. Definitely knew I needed Zach's help to get the kind of structure and proportions right, because Zach's used to drawing creatures. I think especially since they have no reference, just having like a good base is gonna help them a lot. I think I might just submit it like that. If you guys wanna follow me outside, we have our first challenge where you could get an advantage in this video. I know you're gonna win, so don't target me because I didn't target you last video. Okay. We're gonna play a game called Put It In The Hole. Huh? Over there, there's a corn hole, and each one of you guys will get three bean bags. Whoever gets the most inside the hole, Win. Let's see it, Michelle. Kobe. Kobe. Oh, nice. Kobe. 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 Well, there's two things I know, Zach. It's corn and holes. Huh? All right, you got it, David. Kobe. Whoa. What? Uh, I then already can't win. Mackenzie, you're up. Kobe. Kobe. Oh, damn. This is the deciding throw. Kobe. Oh. All right, Jake. Kobe. Kobe. Kobe! No way! You better not target me. This time, you're standing back here. Kobe! Kobe! Whoa! If you miss, you're out and it's just Vinny and Mackenzie. I'm scared now. <laughs> no! Now you guys have to stand back here even further. Kobe! Wow. <laughs> Ah. First thing you win is my help for an additional five minutes. And the second thing is I'll let you make a bet. If you can guess who's gonna win this competition, I'll give you $500. Oh! Okay. You put your bet on Ben. If Ben wins this competition, I'll give you $500. If you didn't want to vote for Michelle, what do you mean? 500 is better than zero. 
Are you still helping? Yes. Okay. Just like the Sharpie art video, just like the ballpoint pen video, I don't think I really have anything to worry about, except for Jake. Jake's kind of making me nervous right now. Okay, so Sweet. Vinny has a cute little octopus sushi chef. Michelle, you said you needed my help next? Yes! If I were to sabotage somebody, I would choose Vince's. Zach definitely helped Vince with the octopus. That's the only reason why I look so good. You should keep asking Ben for help. Because yeah. not only does it help you, it also wastes his yeah. time. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do it! I'm not gonna lie, doing so many is tiring me out a little bit and my hand's kind of cramping. Please help me. So your style doesn't necessarily match with mine, but I can help you map things out. Just do whatever you think needs to be done to make it look better. I'm really proud of myself for doing most of it on my own. Maybe if I would have used Zach's help sooner in the challenge, it would have been pretty bussin'. No Please cap. Use that. I'm not. I feel like if you can at least get it finished, it's gonna be a decent piece. So all the artists are hard at work. Little did they know. I am about to have a little challenge for them. Everyone, take one of these. Each one of you guys are getting a pencil puzzle. First person to complete the puzzle gets an advantage. Go. Oh gosh, the corner is so confusing. So I rarely ever see Michelle win these mini challenges. I think this is one that she can actually complete. Today's the day! Today's the day! I hate this. But Michelle is dominating. You only I got, got your first piece. piece. I'm so excited. I love puzzles so much. Get that out of my face. Look at Michelle, look at David. I always catch Michelle doing puzzles. Oh my goodness, Michelle only has two pieces left. Michelle's dead, yeah. everyone stop. First thing is you get my help for 10 minutes. Oh, that's a lot. And second thing, you get to eliminate one tool from anyone. <laughs> oh, no, get away from me. You need to look at theirs. I'll take away the eraser. This is why you're my nemesis in every single crafts video we do. I'm very happy with my decision on choosing Vince. Totally not fair. Sucks <laughs> so bad. Guys, keep in mind we have less than an hour left. My hand's kind of cramping. I keep making these advantages where I get to help them draw more, but, but I kind of just want to draw. All right, David. You cool. have this whole area to draw. Yeah, just okay. do simple silhouettes and I can go in and finish them. Four more minutes. Oh, yeah, go to town, King. <sighs> I feel like you guys need another challenge. No! Oh, no. no. Put down your pencils and come with me outside for our third and final challenge. Challenge time. Oh man, it's golf. Yeah. I hate golf. Whoever hits it in the least amount of strokes gets an advantage. Loser gets a punishment. Oh. Oh. Two. Nope. That's three. All right, four. Wow. No way. Whoa! Nope. That's three. Four hits. Nope. Five hits. Two, hole in two. Hole in three, hole in three. Right. Three. Whoa! Fight! Oh, two hits. Three. Nope. Four. Yeah. What the? Nope. Um, no, 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 no. All right. Vinny, first of all, for losing, you have 100 push ups. What? Ben, for winning, you get two things. You get to give someone else 100 push ups, and you get to eliminate a tool from anyone. Ken's 100, go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, fine, I'll do 50 push-ups for you. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I think if I were to sabotage anyone right now, it'd probably be Jake's. Screw the truth. I'm going for Jake. I'm starting to get nervous, man. Okay, Jake, no blending stump. So, no more blending stump for you. Mackenzie, your elbows need to bend to 90 degrees. Well, that's it, that's all we can do. 47 more. All right, Michelle, you want my help now? Yeah, sure. Zach definitely helped my piece a lot. He really just helped me with details. This time, I actually worked on the piece myself, and I'm really proud of it. Girl power. I have no girl power. Honestly, Michelle, I think you have a chance to win. Jake, what are you doing? Oh. Wait, what? Why? Jake! I'm making upside down no, this If I had a blending stuff, it'd probably be a lot easier. No, but you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Guys! I think Jake is cracking under pressure. I think it's last place, or you think I have a chance? I think anyone has a chance here. There's a chance. Three minutes left. For a final minute, we're gonna get another challenge. No, we're not. I'm just messing with them. This is really fun, because I feel like I collaborated with all my friends on these pieces. All right, one minute left. Oh. I really have a choice. All right, 20 seconds. My piece isn't even close to being done. Now I'm not gonna finish. Looks like Michelle's getting as much help as she can get. Five, four, three, two. My, my hand kind of cramped for a second. One. Hands up. David, why don't we start over here? Tell me about your piece. This is my club of gorgeous, fatty uh, female cartoon characters. Because they're just too sassy and gorgeous for regular cartoons. So they hang out in this club. Yo, honestly, it turned out better than I thought. Very nice, David. Hi. All right, Michelle. So I know you felt like you were struggling a lot this challenge, but so why don't you tell me about it? Uh, my thing was zombie. 
and I do not know what a zombie looks like. I got a lot of help from Ben, and I got a lot of help from you. I feel like at first, you were like about to give up, and then you realized it actually didn't look that bad. So I think you should be very happy with yourself. <laughs> ben, tell me about your piece. I made a little demon character on top of a tree branch. I think I helped Michelle a little too much. <laughs> and I did Mackenzie's push-up, so there was a lot of lost time. Yeah, it does look a little incomplete. I feel like the shadow on the legs looks better than the shadow on the branch. Well, Ben, at the end of the day, it's not a bad piece. I think the face looks really cool. Nice job, Ben. All right, Jake, tell me about your piece. I got Topic of Demogorgon, and obviously you sketched out the functionality of its body. So I added this upside down mist covering part of its face, and then I just used eraser marks. To I really thought you were gonna have a very incomplete piece, but your last minute mist actually kind of saved it a little bit. Very nice, Jake. Thank you. All right, Mackenzie. Tell me about your piece. I got the topic of dragons, so I did a fiery little dragon. And most of this base sketch is done by me. Overall, not a bad piece. Good job. All right, Vince, tell me about your piece. I tried to create a new character, so I had to go off the reference. What's his name? Sea monster. He's a sous chef. He's a sushi chef. So he's a sushi. Maybe his name should be Susie. Susie does. She'll be she'll bake in a buttery crazy <laughs> Everyone partner up. Winner lose. Yeah. Yeah. I think you did great. Both I'm gonna ask my subscriber which one they like better out of the pair. And whoever wins moves on to the top three. So I asked my subscriber, Manu, which one do you like better? Manu has made her decision. Any guesses? Mackenzie, Aofi Fitzpatrick has made her decision. The person moving on to the next round, Ben. All right, David and Michelle. So I just asked Charlie which piece he likes the best. I hope he likes zombies. And the winner of this round, David. Oh. David, Ben, Mackenzie, you guys are in the final three. Close your eyes. I thought of a number from one through three. Whoever guesses that number moves on to the next round. Two, one. Well, I guess three. All right, Ben, you're in the finals by default. I asked Jasmine which one her favorite one was. Mackenzie! Are you nervous at all about going up against Ben? No, because I know I'm going to lose. So for this final round, we will do a best of three, so we'll be asking three subscribers. No. So I asked a random subscriber, Ryan, which one is her favorite piece? The first vote goes to... Benjamin! So for the second vote, I asked Bane which one his favorite was. And the second vote goes to... Good job, Ben! Benny gets 500 bucks for betting correctly. You gotta play me in rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, shoot, shoot! Paper, scissors, shoot! What can I say? I'm good at rock, paper, scissors. In this video, we're making art out of a thousand color pencils. These four artists will have six hours to make art using only colored pencils. Yeah. And if you win, you have a chance to win up to $5,000 to split with a random subscriber. Yeah. Can we Let's use start. reference? Start. I'm glad you brought that up, Jake. Because that brings us to our first twist. No photos, no videos, no references. The only thing you can do is use your imagination or a real life reference. Six, say something. Something. Which brings us to our second twist. I have topics for you all. So these are topics recommended by random subscribers. Uh. Ben, would you like to start us off? Let's see what the random subscriber chose for you. No way! Dragon. No way! How did you get dragon? Food. Food? Okay. Building. Building. Building! <laughs> Fruit. All right, let's start up the time. Yes, six hours. Let's see who comes out on top. So, Everyone says I always do dragons, and when I stop trying to do dragons, I always get dragon as my topic. So this is because of you guys. So I win this challenge. Half of it clearly goes to you. Other half, probably on food. Some artists were happy with their topics, while others weren't so confident. So I came up with another twist. There is a third twist. Is there anybody that wants to change the topic? Well, yes. I need two people. Okay, I want to switch my topic. Come with me. Jake, here's what's going to happen. You can choose any topic you want for Michelle. You don't know if she's going to give you a good topic. You don't know if she's going to give you a bad topic. This is a message for Michelle, because your clip is coming right after this one. I hope you don't screw me over, because I'm going to be nice to you. You get to choose any topic you want for Jake. Jake's writing you a topic right now, but you don't know But you don't know if he's choosing a good or a bad topic. I feel like he's going to come up with a really hard topic, and that's why I'm giving him a really hard one. She loves this animal. Jake and Michelle clearly didn't have the same idea. Your new topic chosen by Jake is bunny. Yay! 
While Jake chose a good topic for Michelle, Michelle, not so much. Michelle, would you like to read it? President. What? I can't even name a president. Honestly, I probably would have stuck with building at that point. I feel betrayed, I feel let down. I know presidents is kind of a hard topic. I feel like if you can find a $5 bill somewhere, you know what Abraham Lincoln looks like. Anybody have any money, like a uh, reference money? Oh, Whoa! <laughs> what the? They're all ones? But there's just a stack. Maybe I might do George. Who do you think is gonna be your biggest competition? I'm scared of Ben, but I'm always scared of Ben in a 2D challenge. As Jake searched for his reference, David found a reference of his own. And I have a peach on my shirt. So I feel like I need to do something with a peach. $5,000 to split is a lot. I'm thinking with the money, I might. Zach and my anniversary is coming up, so I might take us on a cute little vacation. There's a lot of money on the line today. I'm gonna try my best to give it to my subscriber, but also if I win, I'm gonna give my money to my mom. Surprisingly, from all the crafts videos we've ever done, we've never done art with colored pencils before, which is quite surprising because we've done stuff with like markers, pencils, Sharpies, but never colored pencils. But today, they have six hours, and I have a couple of very interesting twists coming up that they're not gonna expect. Everyone, time to announce the third twist. Throughout this challenge, at any point, you can grab my help for 10 minutes. <laughs> I want your help, sir. Right now? Yeah. I want it right after yeah. Ben. Unlike the other twists, this twist seemed to be very popular. Why don't you tell me your idea? I kind of want to use flues, so either an underwater dragon or an ice dragon. Come on, Georgie! I need to I need to boost my own self-esteem. I have the topic of presidents. Just give me a break this video. Name the 17th president. Tiger Woods. The 10 minutes has started. I'm like Steph Curry right now. I just called in Kevin Durant to help me. The design I'm going for right now is kind of like an underwater creature. If I lose, it's all on you now. What? No, it's not. I did my thumbnail sketches, and now I'm ready for Zach to help me. Zach just went absolutely ham. I'm a little nervous because this is a lot to do. Right. Time is up. I'm not sure if you guys can see this because it's drawn in so light, but I helped Ben get base for his underwater Bruh. dragon. Good luck, Ben. Thank you, Zach. After I finished helping Ben, it seemed like he really liked it. And now that that's done, it's time for a challenge. Everyone, it's time for our first mini challenge. I just gotta warn you guys that this one actually has something pretty insane involved. So rules are simple. You will have 60 seconds to stand up as many colored pencils on their end as you can. Like this. The winner gets to give everyone else unique punishments. No! Go! I feel like this is harder than it looks. Ben's already at three. Oh my goodness, David has four already. How am I not standing? That's smart, that's smart. Jake didn't seem to be doing very well. Oh my goodness, this is so intense. David has a ton, Michelle has a couple, but they're falling. Ben has a ton, two, three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing. Two, Whoa! three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ben has 21, Michelle has eight. Jake, you, yeah, five. I didn't even need to count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Ben, well, you won. Here's the three punishments you get to give. One person gets slimed, one person gets ice dumped on them, and one person has to Restart in peace. Ben, you got some decisions to make. Ben has a huge advantage right now. He gets to give three people punishments, and they're all pretty crazy, but I feel like the worst one is restarting. And it seemed like Ben was able to make the decision very quickly. Okay, let's start with the slime. Who's getting the slime? Michelle. Oh, Michelle, you're getting slime. Who's getting the ice and why? Jake. What? Why? Do you want to restart? Well, restart him. This is gonna be so good for the video. Is that decision final, Ben? Yeah. All right, well, it, it's final. I'm probably gonna restart, but I'm just oh, practicing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah. Do you want a countdown? Do you want like tension or something? <laughs> <laughs> this is my last cross video. This is my last right. cross video. All right, let's do it. All right, sayonara. While they're all out getting punished, I'm gonna try to do a charcoal transfer of the original drawing onto a fresh piece of paper. No, don't ice me! How's that? No! I lucked out. I think ice water was the best one I could have gotten, so thanks, Ben. Ben, now that you won the first mini challenge, who would you say is your biggest competition? Still David. David drew that sketch up in like 20 minutes. Time to check in with David to see how he was recovering. Right now you're in the middle of your transfer. Yeah, right now I'm almost done transferring and I hope it works. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the eyes. Alright, that's there. a little bit better. I know we're around an hour in, but you still have your reference. Do you have anything to say to all the David fans cheering right now? I'm gonna come back. And now I'm gonna try to work extra fast and win every mini challenge so I can obliterate Ben. Hey, you do have some slime in your eyelash. Look. It's slime. <laughs> okay, Michelle, you have my help for 10 minutes. What would you like? I'm doing Bun Bun. This is Bun Bun, like, drunk. He's what? Why is Bun Bun drunk? And he's just like, 
time. Because she had a lot to drink. And she just likes to be in bed all day. Do you think Bon Bon and on a bed is going to be impressive enough to win? I don't know. I don't have any other creative ideas. Do you want to do a quick brainstorming session with me? Okay. Do you want to do something with like carrots? Bon Bon trying to dig up a carrot and like pulling it out. Bon that bon. could be fun. Yeah, okay, that's the one. I think I can do something. Can I save the three minutes for your advice later? I guess you could, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. work on this. Drawing George Washington overall is boring, so I'm going to make him look really weird and maybe I'll do like a realistic side or something. I don't know, but we're restarting. Now I'm doing George Washington stylized. I'm going back to my roots. Also, Jake, it's your lucky day, because guess what? It is time for our next mini challenge. Everyone, come outside with me. We have another mini challenge. So how this challenge works is everyone has a bucket of water balloons next to them and everyone's standing in a circle. You cannot step out of your circle and you have two lives. So you get hit with a water balloon, you lose a life. Last Last one standing gets a huge advantage. Ready, set, go! Oh, it shuts down a life. Ben, you're out. You stepped out. Oh, that counts. You got the shoe. While some artists got hit with water balloons, others overstepped their boundaries. You gave me president! <laughs> All right, everyone go back in. Jake, stay outside. You get to choose two people and have them help you out for 15 minutes each. All right, that's good. After receiving his advantage, it seemed like Jake decided to pull a little prank. You can't use skin tone. You can't use really? pink. Okay. Get pranked, get pranked. Holy crap, to get oh. pranked. That wasn't the real. The other artists didn't seem too amused. Oh, that wasn't it. That wasn't How it. Was that? Uh, I just get 15 minutes of help from two people. But I don't need any of you right now, so keep working, I guess. I'm clearly doing well on my own. I don't need anyone's help. I like how it looks. It has potential to be one of my best pieces, but it also has potential to be one of my worst if I don't finish. As the artists continue working, I came up with yet another twist. What I'm about to do may cause some problems for the artists, but hey, it's ZHC Crafts. So while nobody was looking, I went around and took a look at all of your pieces and I came up with a couple colors that a lot of you guys are using. So David's primary color looks like skin tone. Jake is probably gonna have a lot of black in his piece. Michelle has a lot of pink and Ben has a lot of blue. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach behind your head and you're gonna pick one of these. That color you may not use anymore. All right. You cannot use black right, anymore, David. You cannot use skin tones anymore. Hmm. You can no longer use pink in this video. No! Blue! You know what? That's not too bad. And you can no longer use blue. With colors eliminated, everyone had to re-strategize. I had another plan in mind just in case someone removed one of my colors and I figured they would choose blue. So I'm gonna pivot to orange so that way it becomes a gradient from orange to like this cool blue. Since I am not allowed to use skin tones, I got a green here and since I'm making George Washington look crazy anyway, I decided that green skin's probably not the craziest thing I could have done. So I can no bad. longer use I already had a pink. pivot in mind. I think this is my time to just give up. All right, David, so which color did you get eliminated? I got rid of black, which isn't terrible, because I mean, I kind of just wanted black for the eyelashes. What's the rest of this piece gonna look like? Honestly, I have no idea what the rest of this piece is gonna look like. Are just going one body part at a time? Yep. Uh, I'm doing terribly. I really want to bump them to be pink. If you're trying to go for something similar to what you had, purple would probably be the closest. I actually think pivoting to orange was very smart. Thank you. Just looked at our list of challenges, and I just found one that looks really, really fun that I want to try. Out. Everyone grab five colored pencils and meet me over there. It's time for our next challenge. So how this mini challenge is gonna work is each of you guys have five colored pencils and you're gonna try to get them in the cups. Whoever ends up having the most gets to create one rule that every artist needs to follow until the end of the challenge. You will stand behind this line and you will try to toss the pencil in like so. It needs to be inside. So Michelle, you got one, two, three. Two. Jake, why are you so far away from the line? Wait, where's the line? Right there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh. 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 Three. Oh. Tied. Oh. All right, Jake, Michelle, we need a sudden death tiebreaker. <laughs> Rules of sudden death is you guys are each going to take turns until someone makes one and the other person misses. Oh. oh. So you can make up any rule. However, if it's too ridiculous, illegal, or someone's gonna get hurt, I can veto it. So let's hear this rule. We've never had an advantage like this on ZHC Crafts before, so I was really curious to see what Jake would come up with. One of them is once you switch colors, you can no longer use the previous color for the rest of the challenge. That's a good one. 
Okay, everybody, it's time for me to announce the rule. In the end, this rule is gonna hurt me as well, but looking around, I only have an eye. Once you need to switch colors, you can't use that color anymore. <gasps> that's a good rule, but that's terrible. <laughs> evil, <laughs> evil man. I know, I can't believe that's a good rule. So after this, if I use orange, I wanna use purple. I cannot use blue or orange anymore. Yeah. Yep, the main thing is I'm gonna use black last, because I think black is gonna be the thing that saves my piece. I'm gonna use it for a lot of outlines, so I just have to make sure I get everything else done before I use black. This is awful! After the contestants strategized yet again, I decided to introduce a little challenge we've done in a previous video. We have around two hours and 40 minutes left, and we're gonna do a little challenge that was a fan favorite from Ballpoint Pen Art. So I have a couple color pencils. Once you pick the red, it's over. But every time you pick one of the white color pencils, you have 10 burpees. Ah! Oh! How'd you get red already? As some of them lucked out, others did not. <laughs> 40. <laughs> All right, Michelle, you have 40. 10. Oh, right next to it, Jake. 20. 30. No! 50. 60. Oh, right next to it. 80. <laughs> okay, sure, we'll count that. 110. 30. 50. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius, I should be luckier. Come on, stars and planets. Jupiter, Jupiter. Yay, Jupiter! Okay. Go to your burpees. Jake. A spot will open up any second now. I mean, Ben only has 10, so. Dang, David, I can see your triceps coming in. All right, here I go. I was about to switch and then I remembered hair is under soil. Michelle, it was a good thing you didn't switch quite yet. I got an advantage earlier to ask two people for help for 15 minutes, and honestly, I don't need any of their help. Clearly, looking around at their pieces, why would I ever want their help anyway? Jake didn't know who to choose, so he came up with an idea. Michelle, instead of helping me, you can do a lap around the field. Oh, the field? Yeah. Jake, remember when I did those 10 burpees for you? That's Jake. true. Oh, I have a plan. You guys do rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Okay. Oh! Okay, I guess I'll run really, 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 really fast. I should not have eaten dinner before this. Very nice, Michelle. <laughs> Very nice. There is around 51 minutes left on the clock for some people. This next challenge is gonna determine how much time they have left. So everyone, come up over here. So these color pencils have a mark over here. If you're the first one to reach this mark, you win. The advantage is pretty big. You get to subtract time off of the pencils. Ready, set, go! Whoa, Michelle's going so fast. Uh oh, David's got jammed. I'm going fast. This is an arm workout. Oh my goodness, this is so close. Come on. I, I think I got it, right? No. Oh, Jake, you got it. <laughs> Dang it. This is another one where you get to decide between three people. One person, take away 10 minutes. Another person, take away 20. And another, 30. David versus Ben, rock, paper, scissor. Whoever loses gets 30. Wait, I feel like Jay's doing a challenge within a challenge. <laughs> rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Okay, Ben, you get 30 minutes deducted. Now you have to play rock, paper, scissor with Michelle. Okay, Michelle, come here. The loser gets, gets 20, 20 minutes, minutes and the winner gets 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh. Then Jake pulled yet another prank. David loses 20 minutes and Michelle no, loses 10. No, I lose 10 minutes. I won that. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's diabolical. Ben, your time ends when the clock hits 30. Once the clock hits 20, you're done. Michelle, once the clock hits 10, you're done. And Jake, once the clock hits zero, you're done. Yay! Honestly, what I just did was so unbelievably evil. I said it from the beginning, this rule was going to affect me as well, and it definitely is because I just want to switch colors really bad, but I'm still stuck on this green, and there's only 38 minutes left, so I don't know what I'm gonna end up getting done, but we'll see. All right, Ben, you have around a minute. Oh, no, you have 37 seconds left. All right, come on, Ben, get as much detail in as you can. All right, your time's up. You know what, it's not bad. I did what I could in like the time I had. All right, so since Ben's done now, we're gonna play a little game. We're gonna be playing Velcro ball darts, and we're gonna see who can get the most points, so. No! You! Let's go! Wait, let's go play another game. No, let's do it. All right, 40. No! You have a minute left. No. Five, four, three, two, one. Bang! 
Well, it's kind of the finish. All right, Ben, tell us about your piece. So I got the topic of underwater, or no, I got the topic of dragons. So I made an underwater serpent dragon. Originally, he started out blue, and then he turned to orange midway through the challenge, and then the last 10 minutes, he turned to black outlines. How did Jake's new rule affect you? If anything, I think it made it easier for me, because then I just was working layer by layer. Very nice, Ben. This is a farmer, Bun Bun, and he's working really hard to pick up this carrot. It actually looks really cute, Michelle. And you can see that I kind of ran out of time near the end. Oh, yeah, I, I can kind of see that. Yeah. Michelle, I'm quite impressed. Michelle gave me presidents, so I did George Washington. I could have started to make this really fun and, and good. I, I was actually starting to like how like the skin was turning out, but then I had one minute left, so I added the black <laughs> outline. <laughs> so I just sketched in the hair. I even got some shadowing on the hair. Okay, so one thing I realized about Jake is he likes to work on one little thing until there's an hour left and then he decides to start the rest of the piece. Woo! Watch me win. Watch me well, win. Well, it looks very cool, Jake. It looks very cool. This is my completely unbranded fruity warrior princess, and I wanted her to be inspired by a bunch of classic video game characters, and I tried to do a lot of different colors and textures. That is not a fruit. That is not a finished piece. Guys, next time I'm not gonna be so nice. If you get fruit, it needs to be a little bit more fruity. I think it's pretty fruity. Very nice, David, very nice. So for this final segment, I have four colored pencils. If you choose the red one, you move straight to the finals. Everyone else has to go through sudden death first. All right, Jake, reach behind your back. No! <gasps> <gasps> All right, Jake, I guess you're going to the finals. David, Michelle, Ben, whoever gets the red is in the first sudden death match. So close your eyes uh -huh. and pick one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. Michelle, that means you automatically make it to the semifinals. Ben versus David. First person who responds to my story is the judge. Michelle, you want to read it? Yeah. Okay. This is from Quincy, and he said the first one is my favorite. So the winner is Ben! Oh my goodness! All right, Ben, that means you're moving on. Now it's Michelle versus Ben. And the answer is, drum roll please, the bunny! My nemesis! This is perfect! This is what I wanted since the beginning! Jake, Michelle, congratulations. You two are in the finals. And the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna ask three subscribers which one their favorite is. Oh, wait, wait, the first the first vote's in, the first vote's in. Definitely first one because it's complete. Michelle! I think the second person has voted. The vote goes to Michelle again! Jake, you just got swept by Michelle. She doesn't deserve the win. She doesn't deserve the win. This goes to show bad people do win. That's my girlfriend, Jake.